All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to F1 2021, our second video with the wheel in place. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the first one. I had a blast with it, learning how to use this thing, getting better with it, and I think we did okay for our first one. Um, you know, we didn't have to turn the difficulty down too much, and uh, I've now lowered my seat down quite significantly. A lot of people are saying I need to be down more in line with it. This is as low as my seat goes, and as high as the wheel goes, unfortunately. Uh, but I hope this is better. It looks... Uh, a little bit better feels a little bit better definitely um but yeah thank you for all the support guys it means the world to me that you guys are supporting these videos um because i'm having a blast with them i really am so keep it coming keep the support coming and i will keep the videos coming i hope the mic isn't too far away and it's still okay but um yeah let, let's let's jump in boys let's do this thing we're going to race weekend straight away we're going to uh the hungary racetrack and we're gonna do uh, one practice session and then probably do qualifying and the grand prix itself as well so let's go let's do this thing baby hopefully this track isn't too much more difficult on the wheel because i know certain tracks are gonna suit and certain tracks aren't uh this one okay looks like there's some tight corners for sure uh ooh, didn't mean to do that i've attached a preview for this week's weekend's grand prix if you have any questions yada 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 uh, the drag reduction was failed. Damn it, man. The weight redistribution was completed, but the drag reduction uh, was failed. That sucks. Okay, is what it is. Weather's all clear, and uh, we're good to go. All right, session length is medium. Practice format full. Let's go. First practice session is the one we'll do, I think, and then we'll uh, we'll decide what to do after that. We'll see how we go. You know, we'll see how we go. And here we are. Formula One, Rolex, Magyar... I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I tried my best. All right, should I put my mic here? Should I put it here? I think there is probably best. I just don't want it to get in the way. Of me. Yeah, I think that's fine there where it is now. But uh, hopefully I don't have to talk too loud to, for you guys to hear me. It's the only problem that I'm uh, that I'm thinking about. Uh, I can I can adjust it in editing, but it doesn't sound as good. Definitely, it does not sound quite as, I've had as a crisp. Chat with the R &D what about team if I put it the here? Car parts, and we're happy that they've been here? integrated into the car. Okay, that's better. I think. With any luck, looks you'll be stupid, able to feel the improvement. So give it a try. All right, thanks, man. Let's have a look at the session info. What do we want to do? Race strategy. Um. Okay, drive three laps, conserving fuel whilst maintaining a competitive overall lap time. Drive one lap. I'm going to do this one, the qualifying pace, and see if we can get the, uh, the lap time that we need. All right? We need to get a, an estimated qualifying position of 19th or better. we 17th last week, so our car must be getting worse. Maybe that's because we failed that, uh, that thing there. Let's just do a flying lap. I'm ready to go. I'm freaking ready to go. I need to get this wire out of the way, though. There we go. All right! If you have any tips for the wheel as well, guys, please do let me know. I'm completely open to uh, to criticism, okay, constructive criticism in the chat. The so, in the comments, I should say. Will be doing, so that's what we need to beat. Okay, sounds good to me, buddy. Okay, I had to break a little bit too many times there. I feel like I shouldn't have been breaking that much, but uh, it is what it is. All right, here we start. We haven't even started the lap, so it doesn't matter. Here we go. This is where we need to be on our game now. We're behind the time? We haven't even done a corner yet, mate. For fuck's sakes. I thought that was pretty good, actually. Got away with that one, you know? We're losing time on our rivals here, though. Okay, got away with it. We're losing time, though. Every single thing we do here, we're losing time. Even if I'm not doing that badly, I feel like that was terrible. Okay, but now we're starting to actually fall apart here. Okay. It's our first lap. It's not the end of the world. I did pump the difficulty up a little bit as well, didn't I? That could be part of the problem, of course. It's a longer lap, huh? Or am I doing another one here? Feels strikingly similar that corner. Yeah, we're not uh, we're not getting anything good out of this lap, unfortunately. 
We didn't really get the data we needed on that run. You might want to give it another go. Okay, we'll give it another go. All right, foot to the pedal. Here we go. Come on. Look how much time we're losing off the bat. Like, their cars are just faster. Our rival's cars is just faster. Jesus Christ. I had my pedal to the goddamn metal there, and we were just losing time on it. That's crazy to me. It's genuinely batshit crazy. How are we ever going to beat this? I don't think we are, is the, is the problem. That was good. Now we're overtaking them. They're going to regain on us here, though, on the straights, I think. Is the biggest problem. Okay. That was good. Uh oh. That's okay. That's okay. Don't go red. No, it went red! I said don't. I specifically asked you not to, man. Come on! We got this! We have to be literally on the top of our game right now if we want to beat these guys, man. Legit top of our game. Okay, here we go. Oh no, we've lost it here, have we? Yes, come on, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this! No, they're gonna overtake us last second! No way! I don't believe it! I'm actually rewinding that, because they beat me by like a millisecond, I'm pretty sure. That is absolute, utter horse shit right there. I don't believe they just beat me by that much. Oh, Program yes! Complete. Good work. Okay, we got the 21st target. Start going over the data. So we didn't come dead last, is the, is the thing. Like, our car is just not good enough right now. We're I think that failed thing was bad, you know? That was really bad. Okay, return to the garage. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks. I might have pumped the difficulty up a little bit too high for the wheel, but at least we know we can, uh, we can improve and get better now. 100%. Alright, what are we gonna do next? Alright, good practice session there. We got three out of five, three out of five and one out of five. Not amazing or anything, but uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna do the qualifying right now. Um, I just want to kind of gauge the difficulty, what we're doing right here and what we're doing wrong, if we need to change anything. Um, the qualifying here should tell us a lot, I think. Um, and the start of the race, obviously, is where you can gain a lot of places, but we'll see if we can... Uh, I believe someone was saying, like, the first three laps... Your opponents are racing a lot quicker. And then after that, they start to slow down. So we'll see if that's true. If I can start to gain on people after after lap three. All right, let's um, go ahead and do this thing, boys. One shot qualifying. Here we go. Track's looking good. Stadium is full of fans. And we're ready to go. There we are. In all our glory. Talking with our team. Making sure everything's good to go. As we set up for glory. Alright, let's go. Freaking do this thing, boys. We're up into what? The first position? We're numero uno? Not anymore, we're not. Definitely not now. We took that corner way too late, but not bad. Yeah, we're racing pretty well here. There's Valkyrie Bottas. We're keeping up with the Mercedes right now, so can't complain too much. We did slow down way too much for that corner. I keep forgetting that's like a... Oh, wow, really? Ah. I think I'm just going to flash back that shit. I shouldn't, but I think I am. You know, I'm not I'm not going to qualify in the last. I want to see... I wanted to see the pace of this car and kind of see what we're doing with it. See what we're working with here. We're down to 16th now, but um, that was a harsh spin out as well. I kind of went up on the edge, I guess, but. That's Leclerc up there qualifying in first, is it? Okay, Charles. Charles Leclerc is playing no games right now. Go on, Charles, lad. Oh, what have I done? That was dumb. I'm moving back down positions now. All right, we're going to qualify 16th, it looks like. 16th, one lap is all I need. Complete 10 one-shot qualifying sessions. Nice. Yeah, we didn't do great, though, is the problem. We did not do great, you know? I think we could have done a lot better there, for sure. We could have, but um, it is what it is, you know? It is It is what it is, man. Simple as that. All right. With qualifying 16th. finished, 
it's time to remind ourselves of our Charles top Leclerc three, first. Leclerc, Bottas, and Daniel Go on. Ricardo. Go on, Charles. Goodbye for now, then, but we're really just getting started. Hamilton sure in sixth again, and Verstappen in seventh. What's tomorrow. happening? What's happening right now? We, we went 13th. Okay. When shot qualifying 13th? Oh, no, that's the points. Sorry, that's the point system. My bad. I, I thought uh, that was the qualifying. I think we qualified in 16th. Yeah, 16th. So we're ahead of Mick Schumacher in the Haas. Uh, Giovinazzi in the Alfa Romeo. George Russell in the Williams. And Nikita Mazepin. Marcus Armstrong, our teammate. And Nicholas Latifi. Okay. Sounds good. We qualified uh, ahead of where we were That's predicted to qualify. From our perspective. Let's have yours. Well, first off, it wasn't a race, lady. It was qualifying. Oh, because we beat uh, Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll is my biggest rival. Do you think Eat this that guy. Well as they could do? <laughs> their hard work is always improving and learning from their mistakes. Yeah, say that. Appreciate your time. We will say that. Okay, boys. Let's go ahead and do this thing. Go ahead and freaking do this thing. A race for real now. I'm sweating already. What do you think? Am I after getting better, boys? Am I after getting better at the at racing with the wheel? I think so, right? I think so. So we're going to jump in and do the race. It's 18 laps now, so this is a longer one. I'm ready for the wars to come, my friends. Ready Welcome for the wars to, to come. Budapest once again Budapest. for another round of the Formula One World Championship. Historically, a good race for first victories with Button, Hill, Alonso, and Heike Kovalainen all reaching the top step of the podium for the first time here. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. Sounds like it. It's race day yet again, and joining Sounds me for like a chat, fun, baby. Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into Ferrari turn one? Paul, well, the start huh? of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start, and this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space, and finding your breaking point into turn are. one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't. They always show instances. George Russell up against the <gasps> up against the wall. Let's for some run reason. you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. I already know the grid. I already know the grid, baby. I'm ready. Freaking ready right now. 18 laps. I'll put it down to 19.1. For ourselves a little bit of a, an advantage there. I'm down quite a bit there. So we're going to go for the default strategy. Check the time is higher. And I'm ready to go. Run, 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 run. Look at me. Oh, we gained some positions nicely there, actually. Really nicely. We're up into 13th, and here's our rival, Lance Stroll. All right, we're st sticking behind Stroll for now, but uh, I'm coming for you, buddy. I want you to know that, Stroll. Oh, we nearly went off there. Good Lord. We're okay, thankfully. Mmm, not great, lads. Fuck, he's going for the overtake there. I didn't even realize. Who's behind us? Ocon? Seba yeah, Esteban Ocon is behind us. Okay. About to call him Sebastian. Sebastian Ocon. Come on! Come on, Stroll! My little rivalry here with, with Lance Stroll has just begun, but uh, I'm going to be a dickhead to him in, in any interviews as well. There's been an incident on track, but oh, an incident. To push for a safety car right Ahead of us or behind us? Should I go for the overtake on Stroll here? Oh, oh my god, that was sick. That was absolutely sick. I was scared shitless going into that. Good. You good should job. never try that in time. real life, but uh, it was a good job. Thank you. And Fernando Alonso, one of the all-time greats here ahead of us. A legend of the game. He retired in Drive to Survive, but uh, he came back, I guess. For this season, maybe? Uh, maybe be in season four they'll talk about that but um yeah i watched the episode with uh what happened to grosjean that shit was incredibly sad man it was very it was very 
emotional that episode, I guess I should say. Just listening to his family talk about it and stuff like that. Grosjean seems like such a great dude as well, man. Roman Grosjean. He seems like just a, a top guy. He's always smiling and laughing and having fun, you know. I like him. I like him a lot. Bit of an erratic driver, though, for sure. All right, I'm not keeping up with Alonso, I can tell you that much. And Stroll is probably going to be on my ass here. Yeah, he is, definitely, isn't he? DRS is right on my ass. Lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead. Okay, I have to DRS remember that on. because um, I actually have DRS on manual now, I believe. So we got to be uh, ready to press that shit. We got to get within one second of Alonso first, though. Or maybe it'll be Stroll or one second uh, within because he's coming up on us. He might be looking for the overtake soon now. That was good. I'm racing much better with the wheel now. I feel confident. I feel good. Uh, I know what to do now, I feel like, at least, you know? Before, I just didn't know how to turn, really. I was, like, struggling with understeer, oversteer, everything. Oh, God, we nearly lost the... Nearly lost the grip there, and again there. We're going too far off the track. Going too far off the track, definitely, but, uh... We're surviving right now. We're surviving right now. We're not getting closer to Alonso, which is a bummer because I really want to be able to use DRS on him. I haven't manually used DRS yet. It would be nice to it would be nice to do that. Two seconds behind him right now, though. We need to change something quick if we want to get within him. No, get within him? I don't want to be inside Alonso. That's a little weird. We're approaching the pit window. He's going to use the RS. Mediums. We're leading our teammate by six it does. seven seconds. Stroll's got the RS, but we hold him off for now. Can we hold him off permanently? Let's find out. We're outside the points, but we're battling with our, our rival, and that's uh, that's enough entertainment for me, boys. That was good. Really good, really good. Okay, let's go. I need to scratch my knee real bad, so I'm going to do it right there while we have a little bit of a break. Gap to car in front is 2.3 seconds. Okay. Tires are wear. There's wear on the tires already, man. What's that about? That's not good, though. Accelerate into that bitch. Let's go. We're losing time on Alonso, but... We're doing alright. Resume racing? Did we stop racing? I legitimately didn't even know. Oh, Lance, you bitch. What are you doing, man? Lance tried to overtake me. I kind of cut him off, I think. I didn't even know that he was overtaking me on that side, though. So that one's not on me. George Some Russell is out Russell. of the session. Retiring from the race. Okay. Thanks for the info, brother. Thank you for the information, okay, sir. Safety car. We've been informed that the safety car is out. There appears oh. to have been an issue with multiple stopped vehicles on the track. Check your okay. MFD for a new strategy option. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Okay. They're telling me to catch the safety car, but they're telling me to slow my pace. Like, make up your goddamn mind, boys. Exceeded track limits. Should I go in for a fucking pit? I think I should. Why not? Everyone's coming in, right? Everyone's coming in for a pit. Everyone's coming into the pits. Marcus is in the pits. Marcus in the pits. Everyone's in the pits. I'm in the pits before Marcus, though, so uh, he's gonna have to wait. Oh, they're they're changing the goddamn exit now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. As you leave the pits. Ah, jeez. That was our last stop. No Still more 12. scheduled pit stops. We're still 12th, though. Oh, Perez! Fuck me, man. I scared myself there. I'm rewinding that. Second rewind of a goddamn race. I just, I don't know why I was expecting to be going a little quicker. Hit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Yeah, well, there's still a lot of laps left is the problem, you know? I think we're already at the safety car queue, are we not? I know that some of them not pit. We just follow Perez anyway, because he's got to catch up as well in the Red Bull car. We'll see how we match up against the Red Bull car, eh? 
We shall see. That's what we want to be competing with in the future, but uh... the energy store is getting worn, reducing oh. our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Really? It's gonna be intense now because we're all bunched together again. You know, no one can overtake until we get the go ahead, though. Was this all from George Russell's thing? It probably was. Stroll is right behind us and Schumacher as well. Okay. That Schumacher documentary that's coming out. I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm genuinely looking forward to that. Forward to that. What did that say about Russell? It said pass Russell something. Safety, safety car in this lap. It's about time. Lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tires are up to temperature. And remember, there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Okay. Okay. Green flags, I got it. God, this was the longest goddamn... Longest safety car of all time. Prepare to resume racing, no overtaking. Okay. okay resume clear. racing. Alright, here we go then. Now you're allowed to overtake? just said no overtaking. He was overtaking me. I'm guessing that's gone now because I did see the green flag in fairness. Oh, is it ever gone? What a okay? dickhead! That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. I'm not okay! I'm absolutely not okay. <laughs> Fuck sakes, man. Stroll has overtaken us, the bastard. That was that who knocked us off the track? Was it Lance Stroll? Because I swear to God, I'm going to talk some shit about him after if it was. I mean, I was out of the session there, so I just decided to, uh, to not allow that, right? I'd rather actually finish the race. I could have maybe just ended the race there, but I feel like you guys would rather see me see it through. The car ahead is maybe if something like that happens, seconds. I should just retire, though. Because it's more realistic that way. Do you think I... Okay. Let me know if you think I should turn flashbacks completely off. Or if I should have them on for situations like that where, where something like that occurs. Or say where I just spin out and when I'm not paying attention or something, I don't know. Or should I just have it all completely off? Let me know what you think. I'm interested. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to compete with Stroll here, to be honest. Unless we can uh, just race picture perfectly. It feel feels like his car is just on another level right now. That was good, that was good, that was good. That was good. Racing well right now. Let me keep this up. If I can catch Lance Stroll, I'd be very happy. Very, very happy. Oh no, I'm not gonna catch him like that, that's for sure. Mick Schumacher is behind me. The son of the man whose documentary is coming out next month. September 15th, I believe it is. That looks It looks really good, actually. I'm excited for it. All right, we're halfway through the race right now. Feels like so much longer than that, but I guess the safety car kind of uh, really slowed things down, definitely. All right, keep it going though. Okay, the stewards have now enabled DRS. DRS, we need to catch up to Stroll. If I can catch up to Stroll, we can use DRS on him, which would be just absolutely picture perfect, man. Oh, does it give you like a prompt or something when you're within one second of the person ahead and you have DRS, or do you just have to press uh, press the button for it? Like, is there, is there, is there something to tell you to use it, or do you just know when to use it? Like, you know what I mean? Because I usually have it on automatic. I'm kind of just confused on what it does. Two point zero seconds. One, one now. That's two point zero again. Lovely, really good there. The best we've done that turn, and we gained a. Uh, Gained a little bit on Stroll here as well. Can we get within one second of him? Let's find out. The answer is unfortunately no. His car is just too fast right now. We're nearly there, though. Oh, man. We're so close to a second. Where's DRS at? Where's the DRS zone, man? I think we're coming up on it now. Tell me we're a second. Tell me we're a second right now. Come on, tell me we're a second. We're so close to a second. No! We're gonna be just outside the range, man! Oh! That sucks. 
That sucks, man. He definitely could have used it there, too. And is that not on anymore now, DRS? There's no DRS anymore? Dang it, man. That sucks. I kind of need that explained to me a little better, I guess. There we go. Good stuff. We're, I'm getting WRC 10 as well soon, guys. Is it 10? It's WRC anyway, the new game that's coming out. Um, I'm getting a code for that soon. I got one for PC, but I'm getting it for console soon. So I can play that with the wheel as well, right? I could play that with this wheel. That could be another fun series to do, maybe, if any of you guys are interested. A little bit more uh, of a rally series than, obviously, just high-octane speeds like Formula One. But let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Because I can definitely bring it to you, if so. Got away with it. Wasn't great. Okay, go ahead. Right, Schumacher, but we just can't close the gap seconds. on Stroll. So it's a little bit of a, a stalemate here right now. We're just staying in 13th position. A little bit of a lull, I'll say. But hopefully we can gain on him. Schumacher's gaining on us a little bit, but we've completely lost Lance Stroll, unfortunately. This car is just too quick, and I kind of got a little bit complacent. I was sitting in 13th for so long. It kind of turned into a little bit of a... A boring Grand Prix because no one's really close behind me and no one's really close ahead of me either So it's just me sitting in 13th just racing by myself completely. Uh, so it turned into a little bit of a Just a, a time trial almost like so it got a bit boring, but it is what it is We're on the penultimate lap now. And we'll try to finish strong. We'll try to finish strong We're not gonna catch anyone else. We're gonna come 13th. It looks like unless Schumacher really decides to push us hard here over the last two laps but uh, I think we're safe unless we make a mistake, to be honest, which is always possible. But uh, I've been racing pretty well this race so far, and uh, I think I think we're okay. We just need to improve the car. We just definitely need to improve the car quite a bit. Tires are suffering from some wear because we did we did lap um, or we did pit on the sixth lap because of the safety car, and we haven't pitted since. So um, obviously there's going to be a little bit of wear. But 30% isn't something that we need to be worried about right now. I've seen them higher. As we approach the last lap. Here we go. Let's go for it on the last lap. Let's go for our best lap. That was not our best lap. Let's go for it here. Come on. Come on. Best lap of the race. On old tires. Can we do it? Probably not. But we'll try our best. No, definitely not. We can't do it. There's no chance. I can tell 100% that I'm losing Our grip. to the car in front is 9.8 seconds. 9.8 seconds in one lap. Can we do it, boys? Imagine Stroll just crashes completely. That would be amazing. Not like a serious crash, obviously, but I mean just a crash enough for us to get ahead. Would be awesome. I'm not wishing ill will on uh, Lance Stroll, just FYI. Charles Leclerc has won the Hungry Grand Prix. Go on, Charles! The young maestro, Charles Leclerc, has won. That's awesome. I feel like this is a pretty decent lap, but none of the sectors are our best or anything. But we are just, I think, dealing with a lot of wear here, and that's the reason for that. All right. We're going to finish the race in 13. Obviously, no points, but uh, pretty happy with, um, with how we performed. I really am. I nearly let my foot off the gas to let uh, Schumacher overtake right, us there, over. but uh, we're the fine. The way in. We're fine, baby. We did it. All right. There's my Michael Schumacher. Mick Schumacher, I should say. Not Michael. Nicholas Latifi is driver of the day. He was behind us, I think, so he must have went from like 21st to, to, to 15th or something. Today. Good to see uh, Charles Leclerc. Someone else get a win for once, you know? Anthony Davidson, a resounding Go on, Charles. Today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is new. The safety car, yeah. Do you pit for fresh but he did, he did qualify yeah, in first as well, to be fair. Do. How much fuel so. can you save? I'm not if surprised. If you all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. Charles, That's exactly yeah. what happened today. Good man, Charles. Let's have a look you at you in the podium. podium. You can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe. A world class Charles win. Potter, Lando world Norris world up there as well. Team. That's awesome. Ferrari, do it again. Charles Leclerc. Valtteri Bottas in second, and Lando Norris on the podium once again. Go on, Lando, you legend, yeah. All right, awesome victory for Charles Leclerc. And um, Mercedes gets some more points for the constructors.
But uh, we had a good well, performance, I think. The championship has been cut down. Yeah, After we went up three places. Today, our championship leader. And now let's take a look at the driver's Lewis stand. Hamilton Some came six. Still in the, the points, today. obviously. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Nicholas Latifi gets my vote today. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, that's an do. end to another fantastic weekend of racing. All right, let's have a look Thanks here. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. So Latifi, oh, he started last and he went up to 18. Come on. Our 16th to 13th, we should have been driver of the day. We weren't far off, it, to be fair. But, um, yeah, go on, Charles. You beast. 26 points for Charles Leclerc. He had the fastest time, and, of course, he won the race. Max Verstappen, fifth. Carlos signs in fourth, so yeah, the Ferraris are now starting to, to do a lot better, it seems like. Because remember, we were wondering why they were doing so bad in the last video. But uh, let's have your thoughts. Let's have our thoughts. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? This team behind me, I don't think so. We'll say that. You had a close battle today, didn't you? We're both pushing each other to be the best drivers we can be. Too close. They've been a thorn in my side. <laughs> I'm going to say Lance has been a thorn in my side. Get out of here, Lance. Lance Stroll, the freak, huh? All right, let's go. Lance Stroll is going to get one over on us there, though. Oh, we had a faster lap than him, though. How about that, Lance? So it's 3-3. Three, three. First to 30, 3-3. Three, three. Okay. We're battling with an Aston Martin, though, so it's not going to be easy, man. I'll qualify a rival. We did not. Dang it. Sucks. Well, we didn't get the bonus money. It is what it is. It is what it is. Our rival was a lot easier to, to out-qualify when it was Kimi Raikkonen um, than being Lance Stroll. Invest. Small cost is worth in uh, investing for an increase in pro productivity. What am I saying? Yeah, definitely. 50k for Thanks 750 for resource that. points? The point 100%. Appreciate. I'll take that all day. Whoa, my chair just went. Renew sponsors. The contracts for one or more of your sponsors is due for renewal. You can renew your current contracts or form new partnerships from the sponsorship screen. I'm going to renew the sponsor um, because that one that we have is good, I think. Right, I'm going to autofill activities. Oh, we have the season break coming up. Belgian Grand Prix is until August. So can we work on our car quite a bit first, maybe? Would be nice. Facilities. We have 2,000 points, man. 2,000? Is this the recommended upgrade? Yeah, it is again. Look how far up that takes us. That's a lot. 0% failure chance. Nice. 28 days, though. Not even before the next Grand Prix and we're having a break. <laughs> Fucking hell. What about if I rush it? Rush is unavailable, still. So. How do I get rush? This is the question I want to know. Engine cover distribution. Done. Let's see what's best next. Monique Structure. All right. Spec 2 required. Like, how do I get Spec 2? Rush. Look how far back we are now. We're only ahead of Williams. Haas and Alfa Tori are outperforming our vehicle performance big style, man. That's embarrassing, to be honest. Apartment capacity reached. Ah. So I can't do anything right now. Is there any chance I can make the department capacity bigger? I'm going to do this. The fabrication. Max number of upgrades. I can be in development simul simultaneously. will be increased to two. Still says department capacity reached. I thought I just paid for that shit. So I could goddamn do more. I know. Or maybe it doesn't come into effect for a few I days. Know we were expecting some new developments. Or in the lover. But some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. You do not currently have enough cash to afford your teammates' contract renewal. Holy shit. Whoops. Go to press interview. Okay. We have a press interview with Will Buxton. He is waiting for me in the press area. Okay. Let's talk to Will. Let's talk to Will. We're at a boring race, so we'll do this interview. Thanks so much for the invitation to your HQ. Let's have a little chat about the team's performance this season. Mm hmm Sources inside your team have described the environment as a pressure cooker with growing concerns about how much pressure your staff are under to hit deadlines. Care to comment? Mm. I'll say I don't think that's true. Your facilities here are looking a little dated compared to other teams. Is there a reason for that? Let's be sure that our investments to facilities reflect on track performance. Wind tunnels are expensive and a big investment. We have to be sure before we commit. Our chassis fabrication could use some improvement, true. 
Those improvement co improvements come at a significant cost, though. Hmm. Yes, we'll say that. I saw a lot of new technicians in your powertrain department. Is this a major focus for you? No more than other departments. Things haven't quite been going your way this season. Are you going to be able to turn the team around? Um, as you know, we're struggling out. The reliability of components. Hopefully we can turn that around. Your second driver really seems to be improving at a rapid pace. How dedicated are they? We demand this level of dedication from all our staff. Some time with you. Best of luck out on track. Thanks, Will. Appreciate it, man. Little freak. So none of our next cars' okay, things are going to be done before the next one. Low. We may need to shut down facilities for a while to cut down our running costs. We're back open now, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. we could better manage our time by organizing some team activities. Head to the activities screen to see what we have available. Ignition system completed. Nice. Okay, this is the next uh, thing we should be doing. Standard, that won't be done for three goddamn Grand Prix and has a 32% chance of failure. Jesus Christ. That's not great, is it? That's not bloody great. How are the other cars improving so much quicker than me? That's what I want to know. All right, we're back up to 1.13 million. Is that really not enough for the goddamn stupid driver? Second driver? He's bad, man. He's bad. Do we not know this? Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to end the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. We'll be back for the next Grand Prix soon, um, which is the Belgian Grand Prix. So I'll see you guys for that. I hope you had fun with this video. I definitely did, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.